The next thing I want to look at here in the library, groups, all groups. And this, of course, is in our universal library provided for us through machine software. You can create your own, and they will appear here under the user icon right there. It's universal library. So we have groups. So groups consist of types. There are types of groups. And we can have kits, loops, multi-effects. In the last lesson, we had project. There were types of project. So obviously, types of groups. And I can click right there, a little triangle, and now we see all groups for different apps. In this case, this app is going to be machine. I click on machine. Now this turns orangey, right? And so that means there's more than just one bank. So all banks for machine groups. I'll click here and I'll have some groups from 1.8 version, the older version of machine, and the 2.0 version. Before we continue, you can also purchase our machine instructional videos from our store here at samplekings.com. Or you can join and join now and learn today from the Sample Kings streaming website and watch all our videos 24 seven. So, this is a combined groups. I can click here to get rid of that and I'm back here within groups. Now, I'm gonna turn these off right down here for a second so I'm explain what's happening here. Once I select a group or all groups are selected, a list is populated here, right below here. And the list is pretty vast. As you can see, I'm scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down and down and down, further down. And then we see Z here, right? Wow, a lot of groups and sounds. You'll see some stuff here too. They're not really groups, they're like sounds. Here's rock guitar, here's guitar, reggae. Up here, guitar, funk. Up here, further up, further up, further up. We got guitar, blues. And they're numbered too, each one's a little sound or something or whatever, it's there. Here's a gyro. And then we have some other kits, which are actually just kits, which signifies more than one sound. It'll say kit at the end right there, see that? And again, another sound. As I scroll back to the top here of the kits, or actually of all groups, I'll select kits. And now once I do that, I have kits but then I have a subcategory of kits. I can select acoustic, and now a list of all the acoustic kits are populated right here. Next, I'll select urban. All the urban kits are up here. here. So you can select the type here, and then you want to get a subtype here, right here, a subgroup, and it appears right there. I can go back to here. I'm just going to get all the kits. Now, let's load a kit so it won't be so boring. And to load a kit without these two pieces on the bottom on. This is a load button right here. See, so it's right here, that's for loading. This little icon here signifies I'm going to load the pattern. See that? This is a pattern here. I'm loading a pattern in. And then here, information about that kit. And here I can edit the kit. And this is very important. So I can come to here and click on this one time, and then this won't load. I need to click on it twice, once, twice, and now it loads. And you can see here, we can see in this group called 8-Ball Kit, and this group is A1, as you can see here, new project, and the first track here in that project is A1, and that's the 8-Ball Kit. This is it. And so these sounds are from that kit. All the way down here to that last sound right there. Now, I'm going to go back to File. I'll select New. And I want to discard everything. So I'm going to go here to Discard. It's all gone. See? Project A1, Group A1. Blank. And the group is blank, as you can see, obviously. Just Sound 1 through Sound 16. For 16 pads. Now, I can go to here a little load button and I can click this once and now it loads automatically just one time that's the load button right so these sounds have just loaded in the 808 kit 
And you can see it here in the new project. It says A1. That's the 808 kit. Obviously, we got a kit in. Now, I'm going to go here. I'm going to select this icon at the bottom of this browser section. And now that's lit. Now, if I choose to load this kit in again, I press it once, you will see now I have a pattern. You'll see a pattern right there. So I'm going to go here to the bottom bar right here. I'm going to extend this out so I can see the entire pattern. There's our entire pattern. It's a two bar pattern. And these little dots here and these little dashes more or less like show you that we have these sounds. Here I have velocity at the bottom here, right? And that says velocity. These are the velocity, which means how hard these sounds are struck within the software to give us its loudness or how soft it is, right? And then above here we have, it says pattern now. Right across from 808 kit, it says pattern. Now, next, what we want to do now is play it back. Okay, we got a pattern. This is obvious. And you notice here also now, if you can see these ooh, volume meters move up and down, right? I move my cursor here. Wow, look at that. We see the panning and we see the level. If I can turn that bass drum up or turn that bass drum down or pan either left or right. And I'll press the play button here to stop it. And that's how we can load that kid in.